हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स लास्ट क्लास वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट अदर मोड्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन आई हैड आस्ट यू अ क्वेश्चन डज द प्लांट स्टार्ट ईटिंग अदर एनिमल्स इज इट पॉसिबल यस इट इज पॉसिबल बिकॉज ऑल प्लांट्स आर नॉट इन ग्रीन कलर एंड ऑल द प्लांट्स आर नॉट एन ऑटोट्रॉफ ओके नाउ यू नो वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ऑटोट्रॉफ सो फ्यू प्लांट्स लैक इन क्लोरोफिल वॉट दे हैव टू डू दे विल स्टार्ट इटिंग इंसेक्ट्स यू कैन सी बिहाइंड मी आई हैव ड्रो अ प्लांट दैट नेम इज पिक्चर प्लांट picture plant do you know children here actually this is a leaf okay how normally our uh, plant has the leaf same leaf it is there but here leaf is modified into picture what is picture what is the meaning of picture here not picture it is picture plant picture means a jug like structure picture means here a jug like structure dear students picture structure is modified part of the leaf here okay now the apex of the leaf forms a lid which can open and close the mouth of the picture here this the modi it is modified as a lid lid means what the bottle cap the cap is called as a lid okay which can open and close open and close okay now it it, it has been given in your textbook that the apex of the leaf the end part of the leaf is modified as a lid which can open and close the mouth of the picture okay now inside the picture there are here which are directed downwards like inside the picture small hairs are there okay which is directed downwards this is upward but here hairs are directed downwards here okay why when an insect lands on the picture the lid closes automatically and the trapped insect gets enter and entangled into the hair the insect digested by the digestive juices secreted in the picture such insects eating plants are called as insectivorous plants now i'll explain you how the insects come and sit just assume the small insect is will come and sit on the lid here what will happen the hair of the picture plants here they are very sticky so the butterflies small small insect they cannot uh, go away from it they will stuck their legs or wings their body part will get stuck into this hair because they have a very sticky and slippery slippery means kaisa hai abhi aise fisal ke ja chale jate hain hum log aisa hai slippery okay now if though it is sticky and slippery the insects whichever will stick here come and sit on this it cannot escape very easily and why insects will come and sit on like this beautiful leaves because it has a bright beautiful colors and it will exit the sweet smell so due to that the insects will get attracted with this insectivorous plants once they come and sit they cannot uh, escape from themselves so this lid will close the uh, picture okay once the lid is closed here the insects start entering okay once the insects start entering here digestive food of the picture it will digestive juice of the picture will make it digest through this how 
the pitcher plant gets its food and you know the uh, uh, plants which eats insects and other animals small animals not bigger one they are called as insectivorous plant those plants are called as insectivorous plants okay those such type of plants are called as insectivorous plants now is it possible that such plants do not get all the required nutrients from the soil which they grow do you so hope you have understood about the pitcher plants the next one is we are going to study about the saprophytes okay already you know what is parasite cascata insect eating animal uh, plants that is pitcher plant okay now let's study about the saprophytes saprophytes Dear students, you might have seen whenever you bring from supermarket and all, they'll pack the vegetables like mushrooms and all. Okay, you may have also seen the umbrella-like structure growing in rainy season. Okay, you'll tell that umbrella. Those are nothing but the different types of mushrooms. Let us find out what type of nutrients they need to survive from where they get them. Okay, what type of a nutrients do, do, have you seen the small small umbrella during rainy season they will grow and the barks of the tree, small small white and yellow patches, they will grow during rainy season and all. From where, these are not animals, these are also plants, but from where do they get the nutrients? Dear students, today you are going to do an activity, take a slice of bread. Okay, take a slice of bread, sprinkle water on that. You are going to spoil only one slice of bread because it is needed to understand what are saprophytes for you all. Take a piece of bread, sprinkle water on it or make it wet or moist and keep that in a warm and moist place for two to three days until a fluffy patches it appear on them. You can see in your textbook. Okay. In Karana we will tell Ketaiti Bhusir Mandadar. It is spoiled. Okay. Khara hua bread paste. Till that you have to keep. And if you have a magnifying glass. You have to see what all. How it absorb. Okay. Once you see the bread slices. It will. You can see the patches. Particles under the microscope or magnifying glass you can see the small fungi like structure grows on the uh, bread slices it looks like a small 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 plants okay so these small plants structure which you can see only through magnifying glass or under the microscope are called as fungi Okay, these are called as fungi, fungus, fungus infection. Now it is popular, black fungus, yellow fungus and all, fungus infection. Okay, this is called as fungi, what you have already grown on the slice of a bread. It may be a black, yellow, white in color, various, it depends on those. That, okay, now. They have a different mode of nutrition. They secrete digestive juices on the dead and decaying matter like and they will convert into a solution. Then see these fungi are parasites. They cannot take their own food. Okay. Or neither they cannot the, take the catch or the insects like pitcher plants. So what they will make? 
they will start growing on dead and sorry dead and decaying organism the start they getting their nutrition from the dead and decaying uh, organisms and they'll suck it and convert it into a solution then they absorb the nutrients from it the, this mode of nutrition in which the organisms take the nutrition in the solution form from the dead and decaying matter are called as saprophytic nutrition we may ask you during exam examination what is saprophytic nutrition this is see. saprophytic nutrition okay you have to write and explain the example of fungi now fungi also grown on pickles you can see if you little water or moisture is attacked in for the pickle it will become like a white color it will it will be uh, grown the in the pickle jar you can see the white white substances those are nothing but the fungi and on leather shoes leather belt any type of leather material and on cloths how cloths if you keep the cloths in a moist air or a rainy season you can see white white patches on your cloth if it is continuously wet okay now and the other odd articles that are left in hot and humid weather for a long time these all the places where fungi can grow for uh, uh, their reproduction takes place. Now, you have heard about the black fungus infection, yellow fungus infection. Why? We are using the mask regularly. Okay. And sometimes, alternatively, we have to uh, wash our mask. We are not washing the mask. This is the fact. Okay. Once you use the mask, it has to be washed dried it completely then you can reuse then we can also avoid this infection of fungus during the rainy season now at present the rainy season is going on so this this fungus spoil many things so make the list with your parents which are the menace of fungi in your house or, or the pickles or anything you have to make the list ask your parents help take the, their help and make the list where all fungus attack can be uh, happened it is happened happened during the rainy season okay you have to make the list hope till here you have understood the class next class let us study more about little bit fungus their nutrition mode the spores of fungus and few more activities